as it says. I know that this is a really bold statement to make. Why the flute is the best instrument. But before you guys give me your hate down there, rather comment on why you think your instrument is the best instrument, then go ahead and hate, I don't, I don't really care. For the rest of you, welcome to The Flute Practice. My name is Tatiana and I make fun, informative and sometimes just really silly videos like this one. If it's your first time here, I'm going to encourage you to hit subscribe and that grey notification bell so that you get notified when more crazy stupid videos like this one comes out. I'm joking. This video is dead serious. This is all about how amazing flute players are. As you guys know, I don't take myself super seriously, so this is more of a comedy video if it's not your scene or if you really hate flutes. Don't, don't go away. Okay, so my reason number one why I think the flute is the best instrument. Super duper easy to carry. Okay, I grew up with a double bassist father who had to carry this monstrosity. So you can imagine that carrying my little flute around was quite a significant improvement and upgrade from this guy. As many of you know, I also played the viola for many years. Yeah, insert viola joke down below. <laughs> and this is a heavy instrument to carry around too. So flute, big upgrade. I'd say the only thing that beats the flute is, well, the piccolo probably. Yep, it fits in your handbag, guys. The piccolo fits in your handbag. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, so it sort of fits in. The reason number two that I think the flute is the best. She's so pretty. Do not lie to me. 90% of the reason you're playing this instrument is because at some point you saw something sparkly and shiny that made a lovely sound and you were like, I want to play that. I mean, like, no offense. Like, look at all these other instruments. And then, look at the flute. Just, you know, she was given the looks. She was given the looks, at least in the Woodwind family. Look at these guys. They all look like awkward pieces of tree. You know, kind of looks like you let a child loose on a piece of wood. Ugly Harry Potter ones that are all deformed after a major fight. Number three, and I'm sorry, but this has to be said and it deserves its very, very, very own point. No reads. We have no reads. Like that is a whole thing on its own. No reeds. And I just want to say here, I have mass respect for all my reed playing friends. I'm not, I'm not hating on you here. I'm just, I'm just saying we, we don't have reeds. That is genuinely something I'm grateful for. And I, I think it, I think it may make the flute a little bit better. I, I, I... Now I know we get a lot of rap for being super soft and everyone's like, play louder flutes, play louder. There's like a hundred million memes about how soft we are, but I'm gonna put this forward today as one of the reasons why we're actually better than everyone else. Because wait for it, what happens? It's 12 o'clock at night, you've got a big exam tomorrow, you haven't had time to practice or you've been too lazy to practice, you're living maybe in an apartment or at home, guess what? You wanna pull out your trumpet or your trombone and try and practice? Ha, 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 trust me, your mom's gonna come find you and she's gonna beat you if you try and practice that thing. Flute, however, you very well might get away with this, especially in those low registers. You potentially could practice nice and softly and people will not hear you as loudly. I've had many people comment and say they started the flute because they're living in an apartment and other instruments like the saxophone or even clarinets. Too loud. Flute, nice and soft. Guess who can practice in their apartment? That being said, do not try and practice your piccolo and do not try and practice the high register and be like, it's soft, I can do, no, you can't. You, people, are gonna, people are gonna chase you, they're gonna hunt you down and they're gonna end your life, don't do that. Okay, let's face it. The flute sounds so beautiful. Like, she just does. I don't know why my flute is a she. Actually, my flute's a he. He's Mr. Thornton, I don't know why I'm saying she. But your flute sounds amazing, it's beautiful and Let's face it, like next to it being super pretty, it sounding really beautiful was the other reason you started playing the flute. Don't lie to me. I can tell you one thing, it's definitely the reason I got into flute playing. And I'm not entirely sure like whether the story is legit or not. All I know is that since I can remember, I wanted to play the flute. And my theory is that I used to love watching Beauty and the Beast like over and over and over again. 
And the Beauty and the Beast has actually got really beautiful flute solos in it. I don't know if you've ever listened to the soundtrack, but there are some major flute solos. And my theory is, you know, I listened to this, I watched the movie a hundred times, and then I went to a symphony concert and I'm like, that, that, that's the pretty sounding one, I want to play that. that. That's my theory. Number six, and this is great for all of you that are like considering whether or not to pick it up or whatever it might be, but the flute is actually relatively easy to pick up. Now, now, now. I am not saying the flute is an easy instrument. Do not be like, oh, the flute's easy, I'll learn it. You want easy, then go play a recorder. I'm joking, don't do that. Yes, I just threw a plastic recorder behind me. I hope it's not broken. Flute, it's tricky, it is difficult, and I will say this, like a little bit of natural talent goes a long way, but I think in the grand scheme of other instruments, it's probably a whole bunch easier than the oboe and it's a whole bunch easier than most of the other reed instruments. Also, they have reeds, so there's that. If you want to die, go learn the violin or the piano. I'm, I'm serious, if you want to die. I played the violin. I know that instrument is hard. Like, it is not easy. It's wild. But throughout history, we have also seen that the flute was used as a nice amateur instrument because it was relatively accessible and easy to play compared to some of its counterparts. Like, whatever the heck that was. So the flute is kind of like that really cool girlfriend. You know, she's low maintenance, she doesn't take a lot to make her happy, and you certainly don't need to replace her every few years. I'm serious, I found out the other day that oboists have to replace their entire instrument every couple of years. <gasps> what? So she's got no reeds, we've spoken about that, no strings. <laughs> Time to make a joke about no strings attached. No, she's not that kind of a girl. She wants your dedication and she wants your deepest love. But we have no strings, we don't have to replace strings, put new strings on, or bow hair, bows. We don't have to like grow our nails and make them more fancy. And no miles and miles of plumbing that you have to like periodically empty. <sighs> Gross. The flute is a lovely low maintenance girl. She needs to be cleaned up nicely, she needs to be polished nicely, she needs to be taken good care of, and she needs to go for a good service every year and a repadding every like couple of years. But other than that, she chugs along, does her job, she's pretty. <laughs> Did I mention that she's pretty? Also, she sounds nice. Okay, this is real. No spit. No spit. And by this, I'm sorry to say this, recorders spit. Gross, ew, you like, ah, uh, give me a minute, okay. Mm. You have to suck it back in. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Reeds, you putting it in your mouth, like there's gotta be some spit going down there. And okay, I know that brass players technically don't have any spit, but like what's up with those little valvy things and then like half a waterfall comes flowing out, ugh. I feel like they have like a bucket that they have to empty that stuff into, it's just, ugh. Guys, flute? Yeah, you know what, we get a little bit of condensation and some of you might be grossed out by that, but just think, you could be playing an instrument where you literally have to suck up your own spit again. If I'm wrong about that and that's not what you're actually doing, but that's what it looks like you're doing. Ugh. Cool thing about the flute, she's super duper easy to tune. Yep, she is easily tuned. You don't have to work hard. You literally just kind of screw around at the head joint a little bit. That being said, it is quite an out of tune instrument generally. Like we have to work quite hard for intonation. So I will say that, but at least we don't have to like adjust head joints or turn those bizarre peggy things or, oh, and have you ever tried tuning four strings before? Like that is wild. Did I mention that it's so pretty? Okay, no, I'm joking. That can't be another point, although it should be because it's so pretty. My last point is the flute is so versatile. I think this is such a cool thing. We play in jazz music, we play in classical, we play in a host of different folk traditions from Irish music, Indian music, traditional South American music, various forms of European music, like the list goes on and on. In South Africa, we also have some sort of like penny whistle pipe kind of stuff, also very flute-like. In fact, fun fact, flute is the oldest instrument I'd say next to the voice. They found these like bone flutes that are thousands of years old. Seriously, oldest instrument. So I don't want to say like that maybe like na 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 we were here first, but we were here first. Let's get this conversation started. I'm sure there are a million other reasons I didn't think about and didn't put down. 
put your reasons down below. If you enjoyed this video, I'm going to encourage you to like it and share it. Spread some flute love, some flute fun. Until then, everybody, happy practicing and see you next time. Hey, precious. <laughs> but there, there's, there's about 50% truth to that.